The Eternal Alliance is stronger than ever, Commander. More worlds sign up every day. Name any planet Valen terrorized, and we're helping them recover. Uh, speaking of which, Zakul contacted us again. They're asking for more aid. Zakul suffered as much as anyone. Make sure they get everything they need. Done and done. You're holding out on me, Theron. What's the status of our mission to Iocath? I was saving the best for last. Lana should be closing in on the superweapon right about now. Come in, Lana. How's the radiation sickness treating you? It's nothing I can't handle. Isn't that right, C6? You heard the droid. Mm -hmm. Lana equals full of herself. Let's keep our eye on the prize. Any sign of the superweapon, Lana? According to the intel we received, it should be just up ahead. Stand by. Target located. Commencing scan. Power levels are off the charts, and rising by the second. Incredible. Contact! Lana, what's happening? I've got company. What's the Republic doing here? The Sith Empire? They must be after the superweapon. Get Lana back online. Hurry. Working on it. Don't worry, I lost them. Lost who? The Sith Empire and the Republic. They're on Iocath, and they appear to be fighting for control of the superweapon. Iocath is huge. What are the odds we all stumbled across this superweapon at exactly the same time? Extremely low. The timing is just too perfect. So it's fate, chance, or plain old bad luck. Either way, we've got a superweapon to deal with. According to my scans, it's more powerful than anything we've ever encountered. More powerful than the Eternal Throne? Quite possibly. If the Republic or Empire claim it, they would usurp the Eternal Alliance as the dominant power in the galaxy. The fallout would be catastrophic. Then we have no choice. We can't let this weapon fall into the wrong hands. How should we proceed, Commander? We'll meet you on Io, Kathlana. Head for the Fleet Spire and start clearing a landing zone. Understood. I'll see you soon. Ships of the Eternal Fleet, stop all supply runs to Imperial and Republic worlds and join me on Iocath. We have a war to win. You're looking as dangerous as ever. Something's wrong. The Imperial and Republic fleets aren't attacking each other. No, 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 no! C6, 
Something is scrambling our weapon systems. It's coming from the planet's surface, near the super weapon. The Eternal Fleet's offline, Commander. They can't help us. Tell the Gemini captains to find a workaround. In the meantime, we'll head to the surface and establish a landing zone. Good call. If there's any way to help our fleet, we'll find it on Iocath. Commander, welcome back to Ayakath. I'm glad you're safe. What's the latest? The war's heating up with every passing minute. You didn't tell us you had company. Our trigger-happy friends sent these assassins, so I took them captive. I told you I'm no assassin! I've come to deliver a message from the Republic. And you are? Captain Ilara Dawn of the Republic. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. Careful, Commander. You'll slip on the fawning Captain Slobber. Who are you? Major Quinn. Advisors of the Empress and loyal servant of the Sith Empire. Like Captain Dawn, I come bearing a message. Supreme Commander Malcolm wants a word with you. In private. Empress Asina requests the same. But unlike Malcolm, she's open to a group conference. Get your leaders on the line, both of them. It's about time we sort out this mess. Right away. Thank you for extending the Empire this honor, Commander. The Republic's glad to see you. And my son, on Iocath. Keep me out of this, Malcolm. Enough! Supreme Commander Malcolm. Empress Asina. Your armies have started a war over a superweapon of immeasurable power. Why would you risk everything over a single weapon? I take full responsibility for the Republic's actions, but I won't apologize. This ought to be rich. It's no secret the Eternal Empire nearly wiped out the Republic. We're struggling to rebuild and protect ourselves. The superweapon on Iocath is the key to the Republic's survival. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna watch it fall into the Empire's treacherous hands. I didn't come here to be insulted. Choose your next words carefully, Malcolm. I know you've spilled your share of Republic blood, but that's in the past. Join forces with the Republic. Help us defeat the Empire, and we'll share access to the superweapon and all of Iocath. Malcolm's your father, Theron. What do you make of its offer? He's right about the Republic. Valen nearly broke them. They need this. The Empire suffered too. We alone supported your battle against Valen, and we paid for it dearly. Now the Republic wants to deliver the killing blow. You once hunted prey in the name of the Empire. Now you can renew that contract. Help us crush the Republic threat. Once they fall, our empires can both partake in the spoils of Iocath. Lana, you know the Empire inside and out. What's your take on Athena's offer? The Empire risked a great deal to join our fight against Valen. Unlike the Republic, they've proven their dedication. Athena's an opportunist, not a friend. She only took a risk when there was something to gain. That's hardly a crime. If I had to choose, I would join forces with the Empire. The Republic's a safer bet. The choice is yours, Commander. Who shall we side with? We will ally with the Republic. Glad to hear it. Never trust a mercenary. Major Quinn, you have your orders. For the Empire!
He got away. We'll deal with him later. Commander, the Empire's launched a preemptive strike. Fight back with everything you've got. We're on our way. Lana, Captain Dorn, defend this base while we hold off the Empire. May the Force serve us all. That'll teach the imp scum. No offense, Commander. None taken. Good to finally meet you. Judging by the damage you caused, <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same side. Theron, you're looking good, son. Combat suits you. And small talk doesn't. What's the latest? Well, our base is secured and the Empire's finest are running home to their Empress. Not bad for our first battle as allies. Asina's on the ropes. We need to take her down quick, or she'll find a way to rally. A solid strategy. If I know the Empress, she's already planning her next offensive. We suffered heavy losses. The survivors await your command. Malcolm and his new ally are no doubt gloating over their presumed victory. You compiled the Alliance Commander's psych profile. What is your recommendation? She is a battle-hardened champion, surrounded by allies and bolstered by her eternal fleet. Only an unexpected blow will pierce her armor. Then we will endeavor to surprise the Alliance Commander. Gather your top engineers and rally the troops. I'm coming to Ayakath. What are we looking at? The imps are holed up in their base. Defenses are heavy, but they're not equipped for a prolonged offensive. With our combined armies, we can lay siege to Asina's base and suffocate her war effort. You spied on Asina's personal files during our trip to Droman Kaas. How do we break her? Asina's a survivor. She knows when to strike and when to let her opponents dig their own graves. She's going to prey on our overconfidence. And then spring her trap right when we let our guard down. Clever Sith. Asina knows we're going to hit her base. That's where she'll spring her ambush and wipe us out. What's stopping us from making a run on the superweapon? A battalion of Imperial troops. They'd corner us before we gained access. If we want that super weapon, we have to take the base down first. What if we armed ourselves with Iocath weapons? My scouts found a stockpile nearby. Droid resistance is heavy, but if we breach the factory and grab the munitions, we'll have enough firepower to level the imp base. Ambush or not. Will Iocath's weaponry be enough to break the Imperial defenses? Asina won't see it coming. Which means it's the best shot we have. Coordinate with Lana and get ready to attack the base. Theron and I will take the weapons factory. Is that what I think it is? One of Iocath's original creators. Looks like it's been dead for centuries. Well, let's hope it stays that way. <laughs> Whatever happens here, it was all worth it just to see the look on your face. Very funny. Now, unless you've got another joke up your sleeve, I'm going to get to work. All right, buddy. Let's see what you know about these weapons. What a magnificent world. Even blemished by ruin. And soon it will belong to the Empire. The apparatus is almost complete. Unfortunately, the fragmented data has caused a few minor setbacks. I expect it to be fully operational within the hour. No excuses. Yes, Empress. Victory is almost upon us. 
Soon our enemies will lie in ruin and glory will be restored to the Sith Empire. Jack. I'd say that's enough firepower to give Asina a run for her money. Download every last file. We need to know how to use these weapons and how to build more of them. Give me one minute. That's odd. Some of these files have already been decrypted and translated into basic. We might have Scorpio to thank. If she's listening, I wouldn't mind the temperature getting bumped up a few degrees. No? Well, I can't blame a guy for trying. Huh. This place used to be the super weapons control room. Looks like our crispy friend here was the last one to use it. Over a millennia ago. Search the records for any signs of what wiped them out. Looks like Iocath's creators were fighting a civil war. One side built the weapon, but something went wrong. The super weapon's more dangerous than we thought. It wiped out all life on this planet. What kind of weapon wipes out an entire species and leaves the droids to tend house? Maybe a bioweapon? Sentient programming? I'm not sure. Only one thing's for certain. According to this data, it was tested on four different planets before Iocath. All successful. Over 10 trillion lives. Gone. This isn't a weapon. It's the apocalypse. A weapon that powerful can't be trusted with anyone. Not even the Eternal Alliance. We need to find and dismantle it, piece by piece. And the sooner the better. There. I've downloaded Arsenal blueprints, fusion matrices, everything our army needs to gear up with the latest and greatest Iocath weaponry. Now, let's get out of here before that happens. Commander, we need to talk. Time's short, Lana. What's on your mind? You said it yourself. How did the Empire, the Republic, and the Eternal Alliance all find the superweapon within minutes of each other? The timing's too perfect. It can't be a coincidence. Exactly. We were acting on intel from an anonymous source. And it turns out, so was the Republic. What's your point? I cross-referenced both sets of data, and they're identical. I'm confident the Empire received the same intel. Whoever tipped us off wanted everyone to clash over the superweapon. They wanted to start a galactic war. Who benefits from starting a war? Could it be Asina? Or Malcolm? We can't rule anyone out. Other top suspects include the Shroud, Darth Jadis, a rogue agent inside the Republic's Strategic Information Service. Let's not rule out Sith intelligence. The point is, there are too many suspects to count. Find me a name. I'm on it, Commander. Commander, meet the Nova Strider. She's outfitted with the Iocath tech you recovered. Should be a worthy ride to help you lead our charge against the Empire. With firepower like this, the Empire doesn't stand a chance. May it stand as strong as our Alliance. Incoming call. Empress Asina, have you called to surrender? On the contrary, Commander. While you were gallivanting across Iacath, my engineers discovered a back door into the superweapon. Once they've gained access, we will turn the weapon against you and win this war for the Empire. You have no idea what you're dealing with, Asina. That superweapon wiped out all life on Iocath. If you turn it on, you risk killing everyone here, even you. What other choice do I have? This weapon is all that stands between the Empire's survival and being obliterated by your eternal fleet. 
This isn't a game, Cena. If you activate that weapon, thousands will die. But I'll save millions of Imperials from the fury of the Eternal Fleet. Surely that's a cause worthy of sacrifice, Agent Benico. Good day, Commander. If we move quickly, we can stop Asina before she activates the superweapon. The walker is yours, Commander. Lead us to victory! Commander, Agent Sean, you're just in time. From this seat, I will harness the power of Iacoth's superweapon and lay waste to your eternal alliance. Step away from the throne and you can end this war right now. Oh, I will end this war. In spectacular fashion. Witness the last gasp of your pathetic alliance. Asina, no! It's beautiful. I see a radiant empire, infused with the Force, built by the Molten Gods. They're gracing me with the superweapon's power. It belongs to the Sith Empire. I've got a bad feeling about this. The Gods sense your fear, Commander. No! The gates are closing! The throne is rejecting your input. You've lost your hold on the superweapon. No! I can still see it. I know what I must do. They are coming! You were right. I've awakened the gods. Nothing can stop them. Who are these gods? What did you see when you activated the throne? They are the six. They showed me the end of all things. And it was beautiful. I have to admit. I respected her. For Sith. On the bright side, that power flux knocked out the superweapon's defenses. And killed the signal that put our ships in lockdown. The Eternal Fleet's back online. It's about time. Commander, I'm detecting massive power spikes at the superweapon facility. Let me guess. That's bad. More like catastrophic. The weapon core is charging and no one's at the controls. If you don't deactivate it soon, it may obliterate the entire planet. Don't worry, Lana. We'll handle the superweapon. You'll never reach it in time. Hold on. With the shields down, I can remotely slice into the mainframe from here. Maybe buy you enough time to manually kill the weapon at the source. Do whatever it takes. In the meantime, tell our forces to take shelter. And Theron, I love you. I love you too. Now go on. Save us all from a fiery death. We're counting on you. Eternal Fleet, move into position and charge all forward batteries. It's time to knock out a super weapon. Theron, I've reached the super weapon facility. How do I shut it down? You need to interface with the main controls. Look for a throne. Take a seat, and hope for the best. Am I crazy, or is this the third one I've seen today? We can start a collection. Time's running out! Hurry! Who are you? I 
and rage, molten fury, your god, and your destroyer. It's you, isn't it? You're the super weapon everyone's fighting over. I am one of six. Show me your way. I didn't come here to be poked and prodded. You had no choice. You were lured here. Blinded by duty. Distracted by trust. You did not see the blade to your neck. The rage in your shadow. The traitor. I've given up everything to help the galaxy rebuild. Who would try to destroy me? One, mark my anger, pain, hope eroding. The betrayer lured you to Iotaf, igniting war, sparked the engines of rage, envy, passion, hate, sorrow. The betrayer now offers you sacrifice prime fuel for the six gods. What do you mean by sacrifice? Witness. Lana. Don't worry, Commander. You're safe. I found the super weapon. It was a giant droid. I know. You've been talking in your sleep. I almost had to stuff a sock in your mouth. Whatever that droid is, you knocked it out of commission with the Eternal Fleet. Now it's recharging and gearing up for a counterattack. Which is why we must strike soon. Hesitate too long and the Titan may destroy us all. The droid was obsessed with rage. If we're going to destroy it, we may need to keep it calm. Or push it over the edge. That's good to know. We need every advantage we can get. Too bad the droid's the least of our worries. Someone sabotaged the throne while you were plugged in. Any chance you saw them? No, but the droid said it was the same person who lured us to Iocath. Someone close to me. The conspiracy cuts deeper than we imagined. Sounds like an inside job, all right. Only a handful of people could get close enough to sabotage the throne. Who could have done such a thing? The Supreme Commander always hated Imperials. Maybe he played nice so he could get close enough to take me down. I wouldn't put it past him. Why stop with Malcolm? If we're tallying suspects, we have to consider Aiko, Vizsla, Satil, and the entire Alliance army. Not to mention Lana. And hell, even me. Whoever it is, I want them rooted out. Quickly. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't. But the Commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone. Even Theron and myself. It's the only way to flush out the traitor. I won't let one traitor turn me against my followers. 
They've earned my trust. I'm glad someone hasn't lost their mind. Trust is a risk. Now more than ever. Commander! I knew you'd pull through, and back in fighting shape, no less. I hope you're ready to return to the front lines. We took down Asina and stopped the apocalypse. I'd say we've earned a breather. I'll drink to that, but don't celebrate too hard. We need you back on the battlefield. You won a major victory by neutralizing Asina, but the Empire refuses to surrender. They're still fighting tooth and nail for control of Iokath. The Empire can't fight forever. Without Asina's guidance, they'll be crushed between our armies. Victory's never been closer. We need to keep hammering the Empire. Day by day, hour by hour. Only then will we win this war. Now if you'll excuse me, the battlefield's calling my name. I'll see you on the front lines. We'll track his movements, see what he's hiding. I'll promise you right now, whoever this traitor is, we will find them. And we'll make them pay. I know you will. While you start searching, I'm going to win the war they started. For the Eternal Alliance. May the Force serve us all. <laughs>